So hello, and I wanted to talk to you about what you're going to find on this page of the module. On this page of the module, we're going to talk about understanding what a reflection is. And you've done some reflective writing um, in other classes. Um, following assignments, we've given you the reflection template to go back and answer some questions about what you did, why you did it, what you can improve, what you might do, you know, and what you liked, what you didn't like, all those things. Things that um, will draw out the, you know, what you did and well, so what. And then we want to go with this piece in the portfolio, our assessment portfolio, the the now what. Where are you, gonna, where are you going from here? And so on this page, you're going to find information about writing reflective and self-reflective essays. And that's going to be part of what you do, but those essays are not going to be submitted as essays for our portfolio. And we'll talk more about that also within this module and the next module. But I want to let you know that for our portfolio, your actual reflections, reflective pieces, are really going to be what we're going to call a reflection defense. You're going to take those essays and you're going to actually kind of do what I'm doing. You're going to defend them where we can see you and hear you do that. And we're going to give you some options for ways to, to um, present that defense, as we're going to call it. So you'll have all of the six standards, either the library media or the ISTE standards, depending on your emphasis, whether you're a library media specialist emphasis or technology integration emphasis that will um, determine which set of standards that you will use for your reflections and you will choose an artifact. Let's say it's possibly the video that you created in 805 class design and production of instructional materials. That video could have been um, your personal teaching philosophy, could have been I Nope, I believe it's remained your teaching philosophy. And say so you, you choose that video. And from that experience, you're going to answer the questions that you're going to find here on this page. The, the what. So what did I do? What was this project? So what? What did that project do for me? How did it help me learn, grow? I mean, big deal. So what? How did it meet the standards? How do I think it met the standards? And then the now what is, okay, now that I've done that, how did that help me get from point A to point B? How has that helped me grow from the person I was to where I am now, professionally and academically? And just when then so and then how am I gonna take that and move forward from here? So you're gonna put that all kind of in writing, kind of as a little script so that you can create your defense of the six standards, whether they're ISTE or library media standards, and show us, prove to us that what you've done, your experiences throughout your time in this program have helped you meet those standards. Okay, so on this page, you're going to look at writing those. What you just kind of really figuring out what what it means, what it looks like, what it might sound like to do a reflection of this type. And then you're also going to have you actually record one, just one, so you can get practice with that. Right? And it'll be for a complete or incomplete grade. And um, your instructor will probably give you a little bit of feedback, but it's really this is a practice assignment. All right. So, if you have questions, holler at um, me or Mrs. Brown, either one, and we will be happy to help you with this. All right. Talk to you later.